today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be taking you guys along with us on a foodie adventure here at Market City. Oh, look at this, guys. Is that not gorgeous? These restaurants today are bringing the beef. Don't say I didn't warn you guys now. I cannot wait to get into this. You guys don't want to miss this one because this is a foodie paradise. So let's get going. What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, we'll be taking you guys along with us on a food tour around Market City. And we have featured Market City in so many videos because this is a foodie paradise. There's so many food options and we're adding another video. We'll be taking you guys to some local favorites as long as some new spots as well. And we'll also have the links for the previous Market City videos in the description so you can check them out after. And shout out to Market City for inviting us down. We're super happy to be here. Yes, so let's get going because we're hungry. Let's go. We're here guys at Market City and like Amanda mentioned earlier, we did feature a lot of videos here or a lot of places here. We did Donut King right there. We went to Foodland with Dan. You guys remember Dan? We did this flying noodle place. Yes, the flying noodles over here. But well, a lot of you guys mentioned that we didn't feature one of the local favorites. So we're gonna do that today at Gina's. Macaroni, please. The kimchi. The seaweed. Tegu. All right, thank you. Foodie Ohana, so our first stop here at Market City, of course, gotta be Gina's Barbecue. Local staple since 91, guys, served up by two local aunties, and they are offering awesome local Korean grinds, guys. This is what we got today. Voila! Ooh, look at this bad boy. Is that not beautiful or what? Oh my goodness. I'm so hungry, you guys. I just wanna dig in, and the flies here are ruthless, so let's just get into it. I did wanna mention there is a difference between local plate lunch and Korean plate lunch. So Korean plate lunch is a local staple here in Hawaii. That's what makes Hawaii so unique and the Korean food here in Hawaii so unique is that we have these things called Korean barbecue, but technically it's like a plate lunch. And today we got a mixed plate, which is pretty much, you can find that at any Korean barbecue place here. And when we say Korean barbecue, we don't mean like yakiniku. This is more like, like we said, a plate lunch. But we got a combo which is meat jeon and kalbi. Meat jeon is a local staple. Thinly pounded beef coated in egg batter. So it looks like a beefy omelet. Very delicious, you guys. Give this a try if you have not already. And every Korean place it has their own version of the sauce. So here at Gina's, it's gonna be a lighter, spicy, lighter spicy type of sauce versus the thick shoyu spicy sauce that we're used to. Mijun is like a must order here, guys. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love that the egg batter is nice and crispy on the edges. The meat is very tender. And guys, we have featured several meat jun places here on the channel, but Gina's is kind of like our go-to when we're in the mood for meat jun because it's so close to where we live. Yes. Can't go wrong with Gina's meat jun, guys. And Gina's has a huge, huge cult following. It's kind of crazy. And a lot of you guys are our foodie ohana. The great thing about Gina's too is that they're one of the only places that have tegu. I one think of the few. Some yeah. places I know do have it, but it's a more dine-in style restaurant. Gina's only does takeout. They used to do dine-in. Like once upon a time, pre-pandemic and stuff. Okay. But hence why we're out here eating. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm, spicy. What is tegu, Amanda? Take it away. It is seasoned spicy cuttlefish. It's nice and chewy, spicy, a little bit sweet. Mm. As far as the other banchans, you get four choices. And you saw the array of choices. You can customize it however you want it. So I got mac salad, of course. Not a plate lunch without mac salad, right? Got the seaweed, because we love our seaweed here. Briny, vinegary. And of course, gotta get kimchi. And we haven't had this in a while, so of course we gotta get the short ribs. Marinated short ribs, that is. Otherwise known as Kalbi. So you know it's legit when the bone's still in there. Okay, I'm going for the bite. There's no pretty way to eat this, guys. You just gotta enjoy it. Cheers. 
Mmm. Oh man, nice char, sweet soy marinade flavors, so soft. You guys, just look at the char. This isn't like pan fried, man. This is legit grilled over the grill. And kalbi, if you haven't tried it before, it's a marinated short rib. It has kind of like a soy base, a little bit of sweetness, a nice char flavor, a really, really great tender texture. And because this is the bone-in kalbi, there's so much bone-in, beefy flavor. If you're a beef lover, highly recommend. And of course, you gotta eat it to the bone. All of the fat and the cartilage around the bone, you gotta get that. I think that wraps up today's video. Come to Gina's, call mm -hmm. it a day. My favorite is I like mixing the tegu with a little bit of the mac salad to make it like a spicy, creamy mac salad. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Pro tip, what do we usually do, Amanda? No idea. Go yeah. ahead. So pro tip, you guys are planning on eating this to go at home order no rice because most likely you probably have rice at home right order no rice they give you an extra side five sides five banchans to choose from guys so do yourselves a favor thank me later give this video a thumbs up for that pro tip <laughs> but guys there's more food to come more places we want to show you guys so we're gonna mop this and we're gonna go mop upstairs at a different place that sounds weird is that not how you use mop we're, we're gonna mop this plate and we'll see you guys at the next stop Right next door to Gina's, guys, Kamitoku Hot Pot. Guys, our next location is literally right next door to Gina's. So if you're in the mood for a hot pot, go next door. If you're in the mood for a plate lunch, go to Gina's. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We are here at Kamitoku Hot Pot. They just opened this spot in February. And if you haven't caught our previous video at Kamitoku Ramen at Ward Center, this is the same people. They just have a hot pot spot now. This took over the Nabea Maido location. And Yucha so kindly explained the menu to us. For their hot pot, they use their ramen base here for the broth, for the shabu. So they have different types of pork broth. There's a shoyu beef bone broth, there's a signature creamy beef bone broth, there's a spicy and there's also a yuzu as well. They do have sets where pretty much everything is included. You choose one beef and then it comes with the ramen or a zosui which is like the rice for after to make a porridge and then the vegetables on the side or you can also order like a very famous beef motsunabe which is a intestine type of hot pot they also have a bunch of appetizers as well but we're super duper excited you guys know we love hot pot i love wagyu beef so that's what <laughs> i'm here for we're ready to grind as you know this is what i'm here for that black cow right there. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is the spread. We do have two appetizers today, and we have this huge pot of washu gyu beefy king. This is the shabu shabu equivalent of their beefy king ramen which if you guys caught our last video that is what we got and oh my goodness this thing is freaking huge okay as a size reference <laughs> i'm gone i'm gone this i can thing still is, see her oh, right there look i'm gone <laughs> this thing is as big as my head guys and it's getting smaller it's shrinking because the vegetables are cooking yes and you did mention that as it gets hotter the broth boils the steam comes out it looks like a volcano erupting that we're about to conquer today so let's try the appetizers excited. the first appetizer we got is this tamago tofu it's a cold steam egg custard with tempura flakes and green onion on top this is in-house made and that's not the only thing that's in-house their drinks are made in-house as well, down to the syrup, guys. Calamansi Refresher Lemonade, why not? Mmm, has just a nice, mm. slight kick of carbonation. Mm. Not overly carbonated, very citrusy. I love the calamansi in this. If you guys know, we are calamansi lovers here. And my appetizer is their signature side order of beef, or this is their char siu beef. This is beautiful in itself as well. Okay, I'm gonna try the tofu. I'm gonna try the beef, don't mind if I do. Cheers! Mmm! Mmm! Oh, man. 
I might need another plate of this. Really? It is so tender. I felt like I kissed it and it fell apart on me. And I couldn't handle the weight of my lips. This tamago tofu is so silky smooth. It's very custardy as well. I love the topping of the green onion. Gives it a nice little hint of onioniness. The char siu has a little sweetness to it. Very nicely cooked, lightly charred on the outside. The one thing that makes it for me are these little garlic chips on the top. Oh my goodness, it's like eating a juicy, fatty, beefy, garlicky bite. All the combinations of everything I want in a bite. And also with the beefy king, it comes with a bunch of different vegetables. It comes with one bok, which is Napa cabbage, bok choy, cabbage, bean sprouts, shungiku, which I think is chrysanthemum, shiitake, oyster mushroom, shimeji, which is a type of mushroom, chives, maloni, mochi, deep fried bean curd, three pieces of gyoza. It comes with ramen also, so you can have your starch. And even comes with sorbet. What? This is a meal in itself, literally. You can also choose your broth. So we got their signature beefy wild broth, which is their slow simmered down beef bone broth that turns it into a creamy consistency broth soup. Try a little bit of the broth. Mm. Oh man, rich, creamy, very savory. And it's not super salty as well. It has like a nice hint of beefy flavor. You can definitely taste the collagen in this. I need beef now. Oh, Ooh. look at this, guys. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, gosh. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Literally melt. Mm. So fatty, so beefy. Guys, this isn't even full Wagyu. Washiru is a mix of American cattle with Wagyu or Japanese cattle. I'm just gonna eat some of these vegetables so I don't feel too guilty about myself. <laughs> guys, if you don't wanna do this whole beefy mount, I... Oh man, I don't know what happened. I just started drooling. If you don't wanna do the whole Mount Fuji beefiness here, you guys can do the smaller sets as well. So instead of the 12 ounce, it'll be a six ounce of any of your meat choices. And they have a bunch of different meat here. It seems like they have pork belly, brisket. They have premium pork as well. They have ribeye, short rib, all of the vegetables with the beefiness, with the creaminess of the soup, the broth. It just all comes together so nicely. And for me, usually I eat my hot pot with like sauces, but this does not even need it whatsoever. It has so much flavor. We do need some noodles, so why not add it to the broth? And because you're cooking it to your liking, you can cook the noodles to your liking as well. I like, I generally like mine very al dente, very chewy. So I'm just gonna flash cook it, take it back out. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make my own little ramen bowl. I'll show you guys. If you guys are beef lovers and you're looking for a hot pot place that's a little bit different than other places, that typically have hot pot, I highly suggest checking out Kamitoku Hot Pot. It's here in Market City, super, super convenient location, plenty of parking, definitely check them out. As always, we leave the links down in the description below as well. Feel free to follow them on Instagram. Ooh, you got some noodles? Yes, I did. Ooh, look at that. I too like my noodles al dente. All right, guys, I constructed my mini ramen bowl. Mm. Mm. Noodles, beef, beef bone broth. What can go wrong, guys? All right, guys, we're gonna tackle on this beefy Mount Fuji and we'll see you guys at the next location because there's more food coming your way. Don't go anywhere, stick around. What you guys doing? Yeah. And guys, there's even mochi in here. Oh, you can't even see it because it's... <laughs> Pro tip guys, make sure you grab your food, put it on the plate side, let it cool down first. I just burned myself in this gyoza. <laughs> and the gyoza is a homemade dumpling using their beef char siu as a secret ingredient. Oh man. Wow. So as we mentioned, dessert sorbet comes with the set and today we got their original watermelon flavor. If you guys know the famous sorbet spot in Waikiki, it's called Henry's Place. This is the RL loves sorbet, sorbet. <laughs> I'm going for it, two scoops. Oh, Ooh. it's almost like shave ice. <laughs> Cheers. 
Mm. Oh man, so, so refreshing. It's almost like you're eating a frozen watermelon. This legit tastes like a frozen watermelon. Let us know if you guys have ever been to Henry's place. Perfect way to end this heartwarming meal of beefy goodness. Well, as we mentioned, you guys, we have another spot we're heading to right after this. Stay tuned. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> As you can see, Furio Hana, it's getting dark, but we shall prevail. We shall carry on and feature this next spot that we've been excited to try as well. And it's brand new, guys, just yes. opened. And it's just right around the corner, guys, right over here. So if beef isn't a thing for you, Korean plate lunch isn't a thing for you, try Hong Kongese, Singaporean, Malaysian cuisine. And we're here, let's go in. Studio Hana, so we just sat down, we just put in some orders, guys. It is hustling, it is bustling. It is what you can expect from a Hong Kong style cafe, guys. It's gonna be loud, but it's part of the ambiance here. They also have Singaporean dishes, I believe, and some Malaysian dishes. And I apologize in advance because we're not very familiar with Singaporean dishes. Looking at the menu, they even have the Hong Kong signature spaghetti or baked rice, like the meat sauce type. They even have noodles, the typical beef chow fun, one ton egg noodles, Hong Kong style curry. They even have Hong Kong style omelets as well. We ordered quite a bit of things. Sue was kind enough to recommend some dishes for us already, so we already went ahead. Oh, it looks like the first one's out. Oh, this looks amazing. of disclaimers when you're ordering the sizzling beef stay a couple of feet back because it starts splattering with excitement and also the handle is hot on this cast iron thing i made a foolish mistake of grabbing it no it's always going to be hot so just be careful okay don't be like me be akamai we said where we are right no i did not yet oh my goodness so guys we are here at yizin cafe i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it but this Yixing. We're here at Yixin Cafe, and this is a Hong Kongese style cafe. We're super excited to be here. We do have some dishes here. Very, very highly recommended dishes. First off, we want to try the appetizers. The first one that we're going to try is the Thai style pork cheek. Grill to perfection. Can you guys see the grill marks? So I did try the sauce already. It is spicy. Don't say I didn't warn you guys now. It packs a punch. It's like a Muay Thai kick to the mouth. Cheers. Mm. It's so soft and I love the little bits of the burntness. Definitely, definitely order this as a starter. You, your family, your friends, whoever you're with, will thank you later. If you're a pork person, this is so nice and porky. And it's also too a really great balance of like meat and fat. Not too spicy, but I did kind of rub some spicy off. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the Vietnamese nem nung, the barbecue meat skewers that you make with summer rolls. Sue recommended us to try both wings. So this one is a salted egg yolk chicken wing. And we also got the regular fried chicken wing, but it has shrimp paste on it. So these are the two. Anything egg yolk is just calling my name. We love egg yolk on this channel. And it's Amanda's favorite. It's all wings. There's no drums. And the shrimp paste too. We are big fans of shrimp paste also. So which one do you want to try? on. Look all that salty egg yolk. Drop a comment down below if you guys like salted egg yolk too. Which one looks okay. better, guys? Which one looks better? Okay. Team salted egg yolk or team shrimp paste? Cheers. Hands down, this one. Hands down. Ooh, it is really hot. From the outside, it doesn't look like it's super duper succulent, but on the inside, once you crack that skin, it's just full on nice meatiness, succulent, very moist. And not dried out chicken wings, that's for sure. The shrimp paste isn't too strong, I would say. It's like a hint of shrimp paste. I didn't hear a word she said. Perfectly fried, crisp on the outside, nice saltiness and nice saltiness and creaminess of the egg yolk. If you guys haven't tried salted egg yolk flavor yet, do yourselves a favor and try it out. There's some vegetables we ordered here too, as Amanda was feeling guilty. I'll try the vegetables, you try the shrimp. All right, don't mind if I do. So this is their Hong Kong style stir fried garlic prawns. These things are massive, guys. And this is their ong choy with sambal and shrimp paste. Are you guys fans of ong choy? Let us know. All right, for you vegetable lovers, watch Amanda. For you <laughs> flavor lovers, watch me. Cheers. Crispy, the usual crispy garlic, salt and pepper flavors. What 
you would expect from a Hong Kong or Chinese style restaurant. The ong choy is very savory. It does have a little bit of heat, but not too much. The garlickiness shines through, and also the shrimp paste. Shrimp paste gives it a nice, like, savoriness and fermented flavor that just regular ong choy does not have. And this is a pretty hefty amount of ong choy. Yeah. The portion sizes are definitely very shareable, guys. The sizzling beef is definitely the star of the show when Sue brought it out. It was literally a showstopper. Everyone in the room was just gazing, like, what is that? So definitely order this if you want to please the crowd. On the bottom, it was chopped onions. It came out sizzling, and then she poured the beef with the black bean sauce and the garlic and the green peppers on top of the sizzling platter. Today is just a beefy episode. This, this episode should just be called Beef Around the World. These restaurants today are bringing the beef. So tender. Slight sweetness to it too. The black bean sauce is very flavorful. This is definitely something you need with a bowl of rice. And for me, black bean sauce has a very, very fond place in my heart because it just reminds me of home cooking. As you guys know, I'm part Chinese. So black bean sauce is like one of my most favorite dishes. My dad used to make it all the time. Like Felix mentioned, it would taste really great with some rice. Luckily, we got the beef fried rice. It's a Malaysian style beef fried rice and it looks amazing. It has a little bit of like a brown hue. It does look very like a typical Chinese fried rice. Carrots, some peas, some lettuce. Green onion, onion. eggs, beef. Okay. Cheers. This with the sizzling beef is just a beefy or overload, you guys. Mm. This rice is, it's not super punch in your mouth type of flavor. It's just fragrance, light fragrances of beef, green onions. I, I'd say it's a perfect accompaniment to the other dishes. And then you just chase it with some black bean beef. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. So hot. Oh man. I thought I was full, but. The flavors just brought back my appetite. Mm. Oh, it's actually a frozen bear. A frozen bear, yeah. This one that we use the, um, the lemon iced tea uh -huh. to put it in the shape of the teddy bear. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is this not the cutest thing ever? It is so Instagram worthy. It's so freaking cute. I can't even believe it. So I guess you let Ted take a swim and then let him know. Is that how we drink it? <laughs> I cannot wait to get into this. So they have two different kinds of iced tea. They have a milk tea, Hong Kong milk tea. They have a Hong Kong milk tea and they also have a Hong Kong lemon tea, which is this. And here they also have a Hong Kong milk tea and coffee mixed drink as well. You can also get this without the bear also. Yes. But why would you? Why would you? Come here for the bear. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, <sighs> very strong tea flavor, light milk cream flavor, not too sweet as well. I was gonna ask if they could adjust the sweetness, I totally forgot. It's not sweet at all. I could drink this all day. And this too is also not super duper sweet. It has a nice like tinge of lemon flavor, but it does taste kind of like the regular Hong Kong tea with lemon. The tea flavor is very strong as well, which I personally love. Can I try yes. yours now? No. Okay. Hong Kong is known for their milk tea, so let's try this one. Mm. Ooh, this tastes very brisky. I had to lick the bear. That was my bear! <laughs> Why didn't you lick your bear? It doesn't really have much of a taste. <laughs> I like this one more. I think this is my, my drink. Mm. Ted's gonna go for a swim. No, 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 no. No, 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 what? Proper way to drink this is you gotta dunk Teddy. Teddy gotta go for a At swim. At least dunk him in this one. It's the same flavor. Ooh, Teddy went for a swim. You gonna see it? <laughs> I think it looks cuter this way. 
It's like he's going for a bath. And guys, again, if you want to check out this spot or any of the spots that we've been to today, please check the link down below in the description. We have it all linked down there. Market City is one of the best places for foodies, especially you locals over here. You guys know Market City is where it's at. You already know. <laughs> there's, a, there's something for everyone here in Market City. Okay, so we're on the hunt for a wheelbarrow so I can wheel myself home. We definitely had a blast tonight. We hope you guys did too. We showcased, we tried to showcase as much as we could for you guys. So come check out Market City, guys. And again, thank you so much to Market City for having us. We had such a great day here at Market City. And again, guys, as always, we leave the links down in the description below. You guys can check out these spots as well. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. And click that subscribe button if you have not already. It's completely free. Come follow along on all of our food adventures and we will see you again on the next video. All right, Fuji Ohana, until the next one, get those salted egg wings, Mount Fuji of meat, get Gina's plate lunch. Peace out. Bye guys. Market video videos. What? Uh, uh, uh. So we're so we're here in a sense that they so Korean play lunch is what? What was I saying? At the next. And we so they have different types of pork beef. What are the active volcanoes in Japan? I don't know. Anyway. But in, yeah, this looks like a, <laughs> an active volcano from Japan. Always remember to blow your meat. Ew. I gotta stop saying weird things. So it comes with wombok, which is natural. Natural. Perfect way to end this. Perfect way to end this. Or, uh, <laughs> Did you guys see that camera? Oh! Teddy made a poop.